Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I'm here with this uh, this full float uh, rear diff on my uh, Chev. It's a V30, so K30. It's a one ton. So full float, basically goes for any model. Uh, you're going to have this, uh, this nut here. Then you're going to need this socket. This socket's the same thing that you're going to use on uh, basically any 80s, 70s Chev. 70s or 80s Chev. Anyway, and it's got all these little spots on it. Anyway, this fits also your uh, front diffs on your uh, three-quarter ton, anything four-wheel drive for a Chev. Um, anyway, so that locks in like that. So, anyway, this is going to be the torque specs for this and uh, how I do it. You got your drum and everything on and uh, just want to get this nut set it on. So what you want to do with this, get it hand tight, <clears throat> and you're going to grab your torque wrench, and uh, take your torque wrench for 50 pound, and you're going to torque this as you're going to 50 by, you're going to torque this a little bit, just keep tightening it, and as you're tightening it, turn Turn your drum. Keep turning it. What you're doing. There we go. Speed spins nice and freely. Now you're gonna back this off. Right about quarter of a turn. So what I did there, that's to get my uh, bearings and everything uh, uh, seated in place. So now you're going to take this and you're going to tighten this up by hand. It's so easy you can get it by hand to you get a spot. Okay, I had to back it off. So you get a spot where your lock will go into place. So when I say lock, it's just a little, uh, little keyway. You're going to put that keyway in there. Once that key's in, you got the C-clip. Put the C-clip on. The locks are all in place. There you go. That's how I do it. <laughs> 